Chef's Eterica is brought to you by DanielConNelson.net and filmed at Actionton Studios in Smyrna, Georgia. And now, Chef's Eterica with more culinary chaos. I told you I was going to show you on my last episode how to, you know, save that extra gizzard that you have, okay? You want to make leftovers. You want to use all your food. Like I said, it's a recession out here. You want to eat good. You want to stay healthy, okay? And you also want to save money. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make something that is a little dear to my heart. <sighs> Let's just say I had a little stint, okay, with the Cobb County. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You ain't have to do me like that, though. But when I was there, I tasted something that was so good. It was so good. And me being a chef, it was dear to my heart. So I'm going to do it for you guys today. All right. Now, what I'm going to make is a gizzard and potato gel house blues sandwich. Okay. Now... When I was there, there was a lot of different food that we had, you know what I mean? I mean, I wasn't there very long. I was there, you know, we'll say 22 hours worth of seeing food passing by me and wanting to eat and everything was freaking disgusting. I mean, oh my God. I could not believe that I was seeing some of those things that I was seeing. I just felt like the shit wasn't right. The shit was not right, okay? But one thing that made me happy was this sandwich. So you're going to get you two pieces of bread. Okay. Then you're going to want to put some Parmesan cheese on your bread because everybody wants cheese. We're just going to, you know, when I was in that horrible, horrible place, it was a horror. I'm hurt. But when I was there, we didn't have much. We had to do what we had to do. Okay. So, put some cheese on there. Wait a minute, she did time? Yeah. I don't know where, but uh, it should have been in a mental institution. That shit ain't some It wasn't a mental institution. I went to jail. Okay? And I don't like to talk about it because it hurt me. What? I didn't have regular cheese. I didn't have my utensils. I had no salt. Can you believe it? But I'm putting some salt on this bad boy. And we will okay. be so mad. All right, so I got a little cheese. Yeah. Spread that out, okay? I might explain why she wasn't doing a show for like three months. Press it in, press it in, okay? And another thing you can do, you know what I mean, if you want to, and I'll show you this just real quick. Get you a pan. Warm it up. And you can actually melt your cheese on there. That's, this is what we used to do. We would melt the cheese with like the little pan. Because sometimes we got like com commissary. And like when we got commissary, we did stuff that was good. We was able to do things like this. You know, we can make our sandwich. So, just take it and press it in there. The melt is going to be ooey gooey and it's going to be so good. Okay, now while that goes, just warm up. Now remember you have your leftover gizzards. Just want to warm those up a little bit. Okay, add your leftover sauce. That's okay. Get nasty with it. I'm there. I'm doing it. Okay? I'm with you. You have support. You lose that way, big girls. You lose it. I ain't mad at you. I ain't. Okay? I ain't mad at you. Oh. I brought my brother back. He's back trying another one. So. Alright. Okay, you can make this for your mom, your dad, you know what I mean, your grandparents, yourself. You know, make it for everybody. Make it for a Christmas party. Cut it up into little dices. Dice it up. But anyway, so I'm also going to want to add an egg. The egg is going to be the bomb. And of course, gives us. We just spill that in there. Okay, it's alright. Put it all, you know what, just touch that shell up in there too because you know anything that crunches is really gonna be good and we can season these little bitty pieces up and make it taste like chips you know and that's gonna be the bomb let me get a fork so I can mix that okay this is gonna be really good just spread that around spread it up okay mix it up doesn't that look good and that jelly that's how you know your egg is good and ripe 
it's ready to be broken and put onto the sandwich, okay? That lets you know it's healthy. That kind of reminds me of something. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh my God. Snot. That's what I'm talking about. It looks just like snot. Okay. Let me see that. Okay. okay. Look, okay, first of all, when you're doing it, you need to get all this. Because if you're going for flavor, you want it to be good, you need to get all of that. Look at that. Look at all that. That's what I was trying to do. But you didn't. Oh. So back up. You need to know what you're doing. Oh. They don't know what they're doing, y'all. She don't know what you're doing. Mm -mm. Uh, yes, I do. I know no, exactly what I'm doing. Okay, well, while he does that, I'm going to start working on these gizzards. Okay, I got these gizzards warming up. They're getting hot. They're getting good. Now, just to give it some different flavor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh -oh. some chili add, powder. Make sure you I'm going to get some teriyaki. First. I'm going to get some teriyaki. I already know what I'm doing, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, this is about to be the bomb. Emerald will be, will be so disappointed with you. Okay, make it juicy. Make it good. Make it lovely. Yum. Okay, I love teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki sauce is really good on a lot of stuff. Like, I know a lot of people that put it on, like, um, um, edamame, edamame seeds. I know a lot of people who put it on just, like, a piece of bread. They just might dunk it in there and just snack on it. You know what I mean? That's pretty good. Do you see this? It look all right. Look at hers and look at mine. Look at this. Look. This is the Tampa's world. Look at this. It's so my cool. world. It's the bomb, y'all. All right, so we got a juicy sandwich? piece. Come to me. Come to me. All right, now you got a juicy piece. You want to add some of your gizzards on there. All right, you know what? Let's cut the spoon because you want to make sure that you get all of the juices. And the only way you can get your juices is if you put your hands in there. Out just too hot. Okay, that's okay. Just put your hands in there. Get one of them pieces out, okay? Mmm, that feels good. I like it. Just massage. Massage that in there. Okay? Some of the crazy stuff that I saw when I was in jail, you guys. No, seriously, let me tell you. Some people was getting way too damn comfortable, if you know what I'm saying. This shit was crazy. Like, this lady, yeah. she had a maxi pad over her face like it was a night mask. And she went to sleep butt naked in her little kitty bed. I was like, what in the hell? Let me out of here! Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to be in this place anywhere, but I'm trying to hold it together. I don't want nobody to know. Excuse me. <coughs> Just put that in there, too, because that's good. But I didn't want nobody to know that I was scared, child. Oh, my God. I was just looking at her like somebody let me out. And as soon as they called lights out, they was like, hi, tower. I was like, shoo, shoo, shoo. I swear to God, I like ran out of there like my dear. It was no joke. I was so afraid. All right, now the next thing we're going to want to do, Jarvis, if you could pass me some top ramen, some noodles that are out of the, these are things that you have in your house. That's what I'm saying. Back to it. Get you some top ramen, any kind of noodles you like, okay? Break them up, and you're going to want to put it on the sandwich, and that's going to give your sandwich some more of the crunch. Even though you got all that protein in there with the egg, but the most protein comes from the shell, the shell of the egg, okay? Okay, what are you doing with this? Um, We're going to turn this off. Can you crack that open for me? You can use a knife. Here you go. All right, we're gonna use some of our leftover corn and just pile that on top. So we're gonna break up. And see, this actually is in the shape of the sandwich, okay? Just put that on top of your gizzards, all right? Now, you know those packets that they give you? Bam, did you know those packets that they give you? Stop, stop. All right, just cut open one of those packets. Trash, please. Just come, cut open one of those packets. And this is just like a little veggie packet. And just lift that up and in there, just spread it across. I'm just gonna bite into this. It's gonna be so freaking good, I'm telling you. You're gonna be like, that girl, Satirica boy, she be, she don't be playing. She don't be playing, she be so for real. I'm telling you, you gonna love me. You really are. You're gonna wanna kiss the chef, okay? You're really gonna wanna kiss the chef. All right, so you got your packet. Trash, please. Now put your noodles on top of there. Now, right before you put your, your top piece of bread on there, you want to just make sure that you got all your seasonings, everything that you like. But something that I always like to add to all my dishes that give it a lot of flavor, that's one thing that I missed when I was in jail, I didn't have any salt. I mean, I couldn't believe that they were in there eating such a great dish. 
without cutting the fat. How can you do something like that? I was just appalled. Do you think it's heavenly? It looks nasty. It looks devilish. Um, mm -mm -mm. You know what? I am so low. And that is my mm -mm -mm. blood. Okay. So I'm just going to add that on top. Jarvis, will you do me a favor? And it's because I love you. Will you get my salt? I'll get your salt. Yes. Salt. Salt. Right! Ah! Oh. <laughs> there you go. What you know about salt? You don't know nothing on that, girl. You That's molded. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I was so scared that I just had to spill all the salt over it. That just made me so happy. I'm ready to eat, y'all. Uh uh, Satirica. No. Look what? at this. Ew. What is that? Ew. That's a little piece of egg. This is a gizzard burrito. That's a little piece of hell. Well, it's like a leftover gizzard burrito, and then you put that with some noodles and you make like a jailhouse sandwich. They have the best sandwiches because they don't have They were eating that in jail. Yeah. It was did the you bomb. make it? Did you make that for anybody? Everybody, they taught me how to make it. And I was like, this is cuisine. This is the bomb. Uh-uh. Not, not even people in India would eat that. Uh-uh. Oh. Africa nowhere. Uh-uh. They would. No. Hey, them little kids would be full off of that. You know how many people in the village could eat that? You know how many people would be dead if they ate that? Oh? Uh-uh. Ew.